you've ever gotten the dreaded 404 error when trying to publish your funnels or websites on go high level today we're going to cover everything you need to know why it's happening we're going to go over all the funnel structure and the url links that way you can put this issue to bed once and for all and have a real good understanding of what's going on behind the scenes so let's dive in here we go 404 error typically the scenario you might find yourself in is you've got your funnel published here you have a little sample funnel and here it says we're connected to our domain come over to our domain it says we're all set everything's good go to funnel yet here we go we type in our domain and it doesn't work and you're like what is going on all right so first we have to have an understanding of how our funnels connect to the domain and the url so we're going to go through this step by step so don't worry we'll have it all covered here for you but basically there's two ways that you can get traffic into your funnel this is the high level funnel big box. You can come in through the funnel URL. We're going to cover where that's at. And you can come in through your domain, including the www redirect. So what a lot of people run into is the funnel URL works, but then when they go to the root domain, it doesn't work. And you probably were doing this in your troubleshooting where you came here, you were at your main configuration. You said, let's go to the funnel URL. You were here, you click visit funnel URL and sure enough, it works. But then when you try to go directly to the root domain, lo and behold, it doesn't work. So you're banging your head against the wall trying to figure out what's going on. Because high level is telling you everything's fine. It's not fine. So what happens is, depending on which order you set up your domain, if your funnel's created first and then you add a domain, you'll be prompted to choose your funnel and the step in the funnel that domain's going to connect to. You're going to see this page. What happens when you connect the domain first and then sometime later you create a new funnel? If you're in your funnel, Let's move this guy out of the way here and you choose the domain from here it will trigger this but you'll end up in this state right here where there's still not a default page and a error page connected so what you have is you have a funnel that's set up you have a funnel that is satisfied from the software side and maybe high levels to change this where it doesn't say anything there's anything wrong with the domain and technically there isn't and you have a funnel url that works this connection where you're telling the domain okay which step when someone does hit the domain do i want to go to that is not established so therefore this will not work and high level is not telling you that and we can prove that right here because it's telling me right now i mean i'll refresh this it's literally saying it's all set and hopefully again as of the time they publish this video i'm, I'm publishing this video this is uh the way it is but i come in here and it's not all set it's literally not set at all right so this is this is part of the problem as soon as we come in here and we say okay let's choose our stuff and i save it now we've connected this last path and we've told this which step to connect to and i refresh and there it is right now let's go into a little more detail here because that may be fine but if you're not really sure how everything else works you can still get lost later on down the line so starting on the left side here moving to the right we've established that our root domain and www redirect when traffic hits this it's going to go through that setting we just chose and it's going to go to whatever step we chose typically we choose step one but that's why i have this line here in blue because most of the time you're going to want people that go to your root domain or www dot to hit step one of your funnel may not always be the case but usually that's the case the funnel url isn't really i haven't found a particular useful case for it um, unless you have multiple funnels attached to a domain. But in that case, the funnel URL will always connect to the first page no matter what. And you can see that when you come here, what is the funnel URL? It says, use the funnel URL to send traffic. This URL will always take visitors to the first page in your funnel. That's different than when you set up the domain connection because it will ask you which page you want to go to. But remember, they both need to be set up. And so I have that here. If you connect to domain from here, you will still need to go to domains to choose which step to connect your domain, your funnel, which I showed you. That's the step that kind of gets messed up if you connect it from the funnel first. If you connect from the domain, this is where I say connect to the funnel here. So that causes the issue. Now, the rest of these paths, right? So the funnel URL is the URL for this whole big orange box. It takes you into here, into step one, which is going to be this, the funnel path. So this is essentially the path to the box itself, right? But we're not done there funnel url that's this path to the box but then once we get in it's going to go to step one by default which we established so let's stick with that path for now so once we hit that all right so we've, we've started out our root domain www dot or just the domain and then we've gone to the funnel uh, path but then internally we're going to drive to step one which we established this is the path for the step one of the funnel so i'm going slow so we can establish this step one of the funnel this is the path, okay? We're not done yet. 
It doesn't stop there, but that's understanding each step along the way. The next step is going to be the page itself, what you actually see. And this is why this has to be separated because you can split test in here and this will automatically switch between these two pages. So from step one, then it's gonna send you automatically to step one, page one. I just call it split test one. And this has a name and a path. And then depending on your settings, which we're gonna look at in a second, it's gonna send traffic to step one, page two, split test two, or it can say split test one, page two, whatever. Name, home, split test two, path, home, page two. So let's look at that. So here we've we've gotten into our funnel steps and then we've hit our um, path, right? So this is a different path. So if I wanted to go directly to step two in the funnel, I would go to this path. If I want to go to step one in the funnel, I would go to this path, but I don't stop there because it's going to then send me automatically to, sorry, this path, right? This is the final destination, home page. Now, if you only have one, you're not split testing, then this is it, you'll end here. If you're split testing and you have this set and all, you're going to see these two different pages because there's they're two different final pages, right? They're, you have to have two different paths. So this is what the end result looks like. So to prove this out, we should be able to do a test. We should be able to say, okay, let's put in the domain on one tab. We're going to do it. And that should take us all the way two, 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 through here to the funnel step through and to page one. Then we can put the funnel URL in and it should do the same thing. Now it might switch to page two because this is auto switching and we might see randomly page one and two come up. Then we can put in the funnel step one and we're still going to get the same result. And then we could obviously manually put in these, these pages and all this is going to show us the same exact place because it's taking us to the same path, right? So let's try it. Well, we have this one already here. We have the root domain that takes us to the page. Well, let's try now. Let's see if we can grab them from the actual locations that they are. Let's try the root domain. Let's try uh, the redirect. Make sure that works. Redirect works. Now let's try, whoop, sorry for jumping all around here, trying to find what I'm looking for. Now let's try the funnel URL. That's going to be the actual URL, the funnel itself. So that's going to be over here. This is the first place the domain will send people. Let's put that in here. It takes you to the same place. Now let's try the step one URL. Let's grab it out of here. Step one is this guy. Now it's going to split test. So it's going to send me to one of these two pages, right? It did. And obviously we're at page one and I could just put page two in here. It's going to be the same thing because I just cloned the pages, right? But that's it. So we just tested that we dropped ourselves in the path each step along the way and ended up at the same result. Now, if you're having trouble, you can back test it the same way, right? Go back and say, okay, let me start at the page level because I can go to that directly. Like I'm here, I can I can literally come at the, the farthest all the way down the bottom of the chain. And can I get to the page? Yes. Can I get to the actual step of the funnel? Yes. Can I get to the funnel itself? And then ultimately you can work your way back through the domain configuration. All right. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you want a free trial, high level links in the description. And I just launched a GHL Nerds Go Collab and I'm in there every day. So feel free to join that link is in the description as well. Yeah. So I hope that was helpful. See you on the next one.